Hey everybody, Ryan Earl here, the founder of Blue Steel Cinema, and I'm about to do a little reaction for the official Spider-Man No Way Home trailer 2, which just came out just minutes ago. So uh, let's take a look and see what they got for us. Starting off. Ever since I got bit by that spider. Interesting. I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker spider man We started getting some visitors. Oh, universe. Ooh. Hello, Peter. You're not Peter Parker. Oh. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby-Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, <laughs> Scooby-Doo this crap. Oh my God. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. Oh. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. You're not gonna take this away from me. Peter. You're struggling. Damn it. You walk oh. while the world tries to make you choose. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. Oh, the lizard. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this looks familiar. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. December 17th, oh, exclusively in movie theaters. Tickets on sale November 29th, Spider Monday. Whoo, okay. Now that, whew, was way more than I expected them to show us, that's for sure. We definitely got a glimpse at way more villains than we had in the first trailer. We actually got to see Sandman in action. We got to see the Lizard, so we know for sure he's in it. Much more comic accurate version of Electro. Doc Ock is all over the place in this one, and we definitely got to see Goblin. We for sure heard Willem Dafoe in this one. No sign of Maguire or Garfield, which was kind of expecting that. They, they're they definitely trying to keep us in suspense, but I still am holding hope that those guys are in it because those villains are right out of the original Spider-Man series. They look exactly the same. A little change to Doc Ock's arms, but I mean, that's to be expected. It's still very, very similar design, very close. Green Goblin looks like he's right out of the original Spider-Man movie, and you have... The lizard looking just how he did in The Amazing Spider-Man. Sandman looks like he did in Spider-Man 3. It's all looking so much like the movies that they came from, and that was that was intense. Um, being my first reaction video, I, I was blown away. This is going to be obviously an amazing movie. Not like the other movies where they tried to cram too much into it didn't really follow up on anything this way we actually know all these guys backstories and it looks like they're gonna deliver for sure 
on the action, on the story, and looks like Peter is definitely struggling with a lot of stuff besides just the Sinister Six running around. So, I'm personally very excited. I am, I am stoked beyond words for this movie to come out. As I said before, we're still not seeing any extra Spider-Man yet, but he did mention that all the villains had fought Spider-Man in the past and had died because of it. So we do know that there are other Spider-Men out there. They did, they did hint at that. So I think that's significant because just because we didn't see them doesn't mean they're not around. And if you're the kind of investigative person that I am, I looked into a lot of the pictures that were being leaked and the ones that they're supposedly saying are photoshopped and stuff like that, there was a lot of sets on those pictures that looked exactly like some of the settings we had in that trailer, like that one picture of Andrew Garfield sitting up against the, uh, the what do you call it, the construction site area and talking. It looked a lot like the spot where Peter was just there, at that statue being built. You also saw that one picture where Spider-Man, or the Tom Holland Spider-Man, was standing with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield on something. He was all cut up and beat up, and the cuts and bruises looked so much like what we just saw with him right there. And also, again, it was a very similar-looking area. It was scaffolding and all that. So I'm still holding out hope for all those who are trying to convince us that they're not bringing the other Spider-Man in. You're, you're definitely trying, but I don't think you're succeeding in stopping us from knowing the truth. If they're not in this movie, if if we don't see these guys in the movie, I'll still love it, but I'll think that they definitely missed out on an amazing opportunity. So, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see what happens. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and I hope you're excited for this movie to come out as much as I am.